What we hoped to accomplish on Deepwater Horizon was to give the audience a sense of being out there on that rig, of traveling to a place where we all know a great disaster occurred. The IMAX screen allows the audience to have an experience where they're literally almost falling into the frame. Sound really encompasses dialogue, music, which adds rhythm, which adds pulse, which adds intensity, and then sound effects, which really give the audience a sense that they're in this reality, trapped or emotionally swept away with the, with the story. Mike, what is that? Is everything okay? The job of the sound designer is to fill out the theater beyond the limits of the frame and give the audience a sense of being immersed in this experience. The sound part of IMAX is extraordinary. They've taken full range speakers out into the theater and allowed the audience to sort of hear things in a much more natural way. We're able through sound to both give pause, which is important because the most dramatic elements occur after a pause. And working from silence, you're able to use the entire dynamic range of the, the theater to just deliver to the audience something really shocking, really dramatic, really powerful. We gotta go! The visual frame is on the screen. It's in the front of the auditorium. It's bound by the edges that the cinematographer has prescribed to that particular shot. Sound lives in the ether. It's, it's dispersed in the theater. It doesn't live in real time the way picture does. Sound is just a vibration in the room. Sound is just a momentary thing that can't be frozen in time. When you go to an IMAX theater, you're looking at and listening to what the filmmakers intended you to look at, listen to, and experience.